Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with Koali Zoo. Who would have thought that we would ever return? All of you that have been complaining and asking for Koali Zoo, you can stop now. We are back. Well, I say we, we are a group still, but not completely how you would expect it. I am joined by the lovely Silver Red Rudy Ren Camel. Mike just um, abandoned us. <laughs> but we have a great, <laughs> we have a great, uh, a great person that is going to replace him. I think we could never think of anyone better than the lovely Eben. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait <Aww>. No. <laughs> Hi, Eben. Hello. Thank you for joining. Hello, Rudy. Hello, Sylv. Hello. Hope you're all doing well. It's been like probably over a year or so. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a long time, a long, especially for me. Yes! <laughs> well, it's been almost a year, yeah. I, th I think something Is like that. Is it that long? Yeah, probably. Yeah. The beginning of Corona, I think it was, so... It's been a while. <laughs> but Crazy. nonetheless, we are back. And uh, I'm actually quite, pretty excited that we're back. Like, we have had times the last month that uh, some, like Sylv was moving, Sylv was busy with his study, I think. What, what else did you do? Oh yeah, your computer? <laughs> uh, yeah, I still don't have a new computer. I was about uh, to say. I also started working, uh, I moved back to the Netherlands. Uh, lots of real life stuff, yeah. Yeah, and uh, well, we, me and Rudy were the most uh, consistent. I, I'm not talking about Eben. Eben is also consistent, but <laughs> I mean before he really joined the team. Yeah, he's like, he's like <laughs> consistent during day and night. Yes. <laughs> I, I during the mornings. Let's I I do sleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> But the biggest change of all, uh, well, except for M Mike not being here, uh, is that Rudy now is a daddy. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, there was something happening. That's that's right. Yes, a little uh, baby girl. Thank you. <laughs> the little baby girl. Yeah, it's yeah. already about, about three months. So um, yeah, well, it's actually been a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, time flies. But a great change that's of right, your that's life. Right, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Yeah. 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 You can't really put that in words. It's. It's not really doable, but for those of you out there who who know that being being parents, you know that you know this is completely a life changer in in all directions. But Aww. so far, the little girl has really been uh, super nice to us. So yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's kind of her. <laughs> that's great. Yet <clears throat> she's 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 very kind. Quite Aww. yet. So let's see how long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just wait until she becomes like. T 12, 13, when she's getting her oh first boyfriend. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna we're be fun time. No, no, we're not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not yet. Enjoy it while it lasts, okay? Okay, a different subject. How are you doing, Eben? How does it feel to be a real official part of the Koali team now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm You're really actually, grateful. you were actually already, but just not really officially, but <laughs> you have been doing. Tons of I, crap in the zoo. <laughs> my, Mike is a guy who who always has very big ideas and very little time. So he <laughs> usually just asks me, like, he says, okay, I want to do this and this and this. And I'm like, yeah, sure, let's do that. And um, yeah, for the past few episodes that he has done, I've done a bunch of things. Um, <laughs> but yeah, now now it's, it's, it's really great to be an official member now. Yay! Um, which is... <laughs> A super weird thing to say, <laughs> so, but I'm 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 super grateful for the opportunity. So thank you so much. And we're super happy to have you here. And of everyone that is watching right now, obviously Rudy and Silv are also linked in the description. But also Eben is now linked in the description down below. And we're also gonna keep linking Mike. Like Mike is not here, I was about but to say, he's kick, here kick in our heart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mike Mike is still in that period of time in the year that he's super super busy. And he, he tries to make time, but like... He just it, doesn't have yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, he's potentially appearing it. at the end and uh, <laughs> doesn't know shit about it anymore. And then, and then he's going to complain about what Eben did, even though Eben did nothing for this episode. But he's still going to complain about it. Yeah, probably, probably. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> Although, if everything goes well, I guess he's kind of our layout 
Batman, you know, he created the the very foundation of where we're oh, placing yeah. everything. So hopefully by the end of it, he'll be like, all right, you guys did good. Yeah. And then he's probably going to still move a bunch of stuff around. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what the, the positive is for Eben? He doesn't really have to change because there's someone else with big ideas and now very little time in this group. So um, oh, yeah, I'm, that's I'm quite Rudy. happy to fill that. <laughs> <laughs> to fill that void for you even no big deal <laughs> that's great but like we've been watching what you've been building for quite a while now yeah but what I is still it yeah no idea what it is well you told you're me you're cleaning up a lot you told me that mike <laughs> like, like i don't want to piss off mike you know so um oh, 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 because do, you do. know what happens when when mike has ideas i noticed that when i was looking at this file before i started building Things were just scrapped. Things were just gone. And I was like, oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> Talk Where about is Africa, this? please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I, I didn't watch too much of Africa, but I did know that you were sending some <laughs> screenshots like, uh, wait, what? Uh, what happened here? But it's like different when you have not built it yourself, then you don't know exactly what has changed. Yeah. Um, but, um, but yeah, for example, my giant ant eater habitat is just yes. gone. <laughs> it's just, just completely gone. Oh. I have no idea. And it was just gone. <laughs> and then I asked, and Mike was like, oh, no, even was like, oh yeah, Mike is throwing me on the bus again. <laughs> <laughs> because Mike, now Mike. even had to explain what happened here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like Mike told me, yeah, yeah, we're going to move this and I've checked it with everyone. And I was like, okay. And okay, I know what to do then. That's, so I moved <laughs> everything and I started working all, on all the things he asked me to do. And then I'm officially invited. I'm super happy. And then it's like, um, why is everything gone? And I'm like, uh, but you guys knew, right? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know, but... It's all right. It's all right. I remember that I had, when I was building that one, I was having issues with my hands. I think that was when it started. Oh, yeah. So I wasn't really capable of doing spectacular things. Well, I'm still not doing spectacular things. I'm just doing what, what, what you guys asked me to because I had no idea where to start. This file is so big. It's so gigantic that... I was just like overwhelmed when I opened this file again. Like I had no idea what what to do, what to start. So I was like, okay, there's an empty spot. There was a tortoise habitat in here that Rudy built. Completely gone again. <laughs> it's just yeah. But to to Mike's defense, uh, we talked about that <laughs> one at least. <laughs> yeah, you said that later. <laughs> so yeah, okay. So uh, then even said. Yeah, but Mike wanted to have the giant ant eaters in the uh, tapers habitat. And I was like, okay, move them in the tapers habitat then. And then uh, he wanted the other tape here with the um, the Malaysian tape here with the uh, with maybe a binturong or something. Uh, besides it, so I was like, perfect. <laughs> there are fences. <laughs> there is already like. Half of the layout has been done by Rudy, which I absolutely love. So I was like, I'm not going to touch this. I'm not going to delete this. This is just really amazing. Yeah. So I actually just uh, just used the space and took the, the, the theme that Rudy did for his taper habitat, which I absolutely love. So I'm really uh, glad that Mike did not touch that one. <laughs> And now we're having uh, the Tabor and the Binturong habitat. And um, Super cool. I actually, uh, I wanted to do something with this planter underneath uh, underneath this track, but I actually am not really sure if that is the greatest, but you can't see that anyways from the path. So what? I actually really like this. Oh, yeah, okay. I, uh, I was just about to say, I very much appreciate this. Okay, now, well, then it's good. Then then you, you can leave it. But if you want to touch it, even, <laughs> you are allowed no, to touch it's, it, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a bunch of plants that are all ferns and stuff. And those are, as I've been told, very strong plants. They can take a lot of Ooh. damage. Hmm, so Sounds good. I think it's That's fine cool. for, for that area. <laughs> yeah, and sounds most, good. Li most likely, Mike is going to watch this episode. He's going to tell me that everything I've said is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's his. He better we, watch we shall, us the episode just... to the least. That's the least he can do. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
Hi Mike. Think... Hey buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think lady you can you can name this episode Burn Mike Burn. Yeah, of course. He he should expect a little bit of a burn uh, during this whole episode, of course. I mean, <laughs> I always try I mean, to burn here. him. He's not cannot protest anymore. And 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 now it's like <laughs> He's just abandoning us. So of course he he's getting burned like the whole oh, episode. I, we love him. I, Don't get us wrong. We <laughs> love him so much, but burning Mike is just the most fun to do sometimes, especially I, if he I touches can your agree stuff. With that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love you, Mike. <laughs> he paid us to say that. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The most fun thing actually to do in this habitat was this climbing frame. I um I was uh this is something I have never done before. So I have been playing around with the uh, construction logs, uh the big logs and the longer logs and the African logs. And I actually never did this before, but it actually works really well. It is inspired I think it was Madrid Zoo? I, I think. I'm, I'm starting to doubt myself, so I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, I placed some rope there, but I actually forgot to place rope everywhere else. But yeah, okay, <laughs> that's just a side note. I'm seeing it and I'm like, oh, I totally forgot to put rope anywhere else. <laughs> I should have done that. But okay, the thing is, I am trying... I had issues with my city zoo, uh, with my Binturong habitat, because they can do animations hanging on their tail, right? Oh yeah. I'm not really sure if they're able to do that with these these logs or with the thick logs in general. So, but I did put it down like a, a, a horizontal to make sure that they would potentially be able. You see, two or three logs will be horizontal, um, but I have not seen the animation, so I have no idea if it works. But it's the idea <laughs> that they could potentially hang there on their tails i've been it's trying super weird to... they never did this for me like never for me no I for me neither everything. i've i've been i've tried everything like literally everything i've re redone my exhibits like five times already really and they never do it but they have just... you tried maybe with the thin logs maybe it's the thin logs then i, I tried every single piece same here, like, same at here. a certain point i was like okay i'll just grab one of the prefab um, building <laughs> same and, 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 and see if they use it, but nope, they, they don't. still did it. So. That's insane, though. I remember that people in my uh, in my comments back then said that it did work for them, but I have mm. never actually, seen it. Actually, they changed something with the climbing in general. Like, I'm not sure what exactly they did, but um, I was preparing a video looking a bit more into detail in climbing, like because you know, for me, the cloud leopard is still one of the biggest issues because their climbing is for whatever reason a little bit broken, um, and I wanted to fix that somehow. And so I, uh, you know, I tried to go back into the diving, and they, tr I think they changed something about the traversable area. There is some some weird stuff going on. I don't know if this is a new system or they improved it dramatically or so, but in the past, actually, if you put pieces into each other and they created these interference between the uh, the, the, the climbing area, you know, when the mm -hmm. little triangles cr were created, that's kind of gone. If you now merge pieces oh. into each other, it just creates one, um, one, one fine line, and there is not this little triangle in the middle anymore. But that's and better, actually, I the, think. The anim yeah, the animation also yeah, seems mean to they don't be glitch anymore. Like... Well, they still glitch, but not <laughs> due to glitch. the <laughs> not due to the um, interference of the pieces. So where I found out they glitch the most now is when you have pieces go into the ground. Like then they kind of have a weird uh -oh. issue. So yeah, always oh, have right. to make sure that you start with the piece. <laughs> Lady is like, oops. <laughs> um, yeah. No, but I think and. I still haven't seen the Bintrong doing anything, like even not in the climbing testing. So I had the same issue with the koala. For me, the koala didn't climb for like three months. <gasps> yeah, and then, I'll remember that. Um, thanks, to, thanks to Shantae back then, she was uh, having a fourth and back with the um, with the devs. It finally worked. So it, it is also super weird that it's so game related, like personal. Yeah, yeah you know? that's Many people have so no weird. issues and that's it's insane. so weird. But... Anyways, it's I'm like still happy that they life, still work no? on it. Sorry? You yeah, don't true. always do what you want him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But but the, in all honesty, this whole project, like they can climb on all the left climbing frames, but this whole cabin-ish thingy I'm trying to make with like these African pillars, at least mm -hmm. with an African roof or with the African pillars as a roof, um, they, they, they can't get in here. They can't get under that roof. Oh, of that's... course not. Mm. <laughs> that not. That's not <laughs> working. Why? Why would that work? I mean, it just looks cool, okay? Now, I had no <laughs> idea why why they not 
do what I want them to do. But yeah, I I sometimes get used to it and just like yeah, well, <laughs> pretend. That's the one thing reason. that I don't like. Like yeah. I mean, it's 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 the one big thing that I have with the climbing system. I'm perfectly fine with there being limitations. That's obvious. It's a game. It's never going to be perfect, but at least tell me what the limitations yeah. are so I can work around them or I can just build it in a way that I'm sure it's going to work. Yeah, and exactly. Like, yeah. Like with with yeah. my with with things that I've been building recently like it works it works and then I save my game, I reload it the next day and it doesn't work anymore. Yes. I'm like <gasps> this is exactly okay, my great. biggest concern as well. Yeah, yeah. that's it's so, so frustrating. weird. Also with each DLC, which each DLC that's gonna be dropped, um I have the feeling um my animals all escape yeah. all of a sudden. Yes. Right? Yeah. I, oh. I don't know. It's same. And then I have to change the habitats again and it is actually weird. And I have to say that, you know, um this is also I, I had a very long chat with Mike. If we would only have this now scroll through the screen, this would fill the entire episode. And we talked a lot about the climbing and our, just to say at the baseline, we think that the system is very much ahead of its time. Um, and that is still, it is the, the best thing about it and also the worst thing about it. At the very end, you have to put the question if it wouldn't have been better to have, let's say 20 to 30 dedicated climbing pieces, you know, mm -hmm. um, that actually work. <laughs> rather than having like basically anything that could be climbable but then causes all the issues. I know it's it's kind of a hard discussion because people want freedom and we have the freedom which is great, but sometimes it's like I I wish I wish they could just use it perfectly fine. Yeah, right. and, and I think that that leads us back to, to the fact that I feel like this system is such a black box and it could easily be that we just do like one little thing incorrectly that ruins everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just so wish true. that Frontier would give us a guide. Yeah. On like, okay, these are the basics of climbing of the climbing system. You need to have this, you need to have that, you can't have this. But yeah, as long as yeah, we don't know Yeah, but they, know they this, can always uh, they can be a little bit secretive about that and uh, <laughs> I remember yeah, having the that. The question is the question is, do they know this, you know, because there's like, for sure, there is an algorithm that, you know, feeds yeah. into the animations uh, working t together, you know, there has to be mm -hmm. something like a check, what's the angle of the piece, you mm -hmm. know, so that triggers a different animation, different animals have different angles, as we learned. And so sometimes, you know, you, you have a perfectly fine climbing frame for, let's say, a bear, because the bear can only go to, let's say, 30 degree of an angle anyways. And so that's anima that animation is fine. But then again, you have like a mandrel or something who could put potentially go over that and so it messes already with the system mm -hmm. and I think this is the biggest uh, issue here that the algorithm decides what's going to happen and if it's not let's say 100% obvious to the algorithm what's going to happen then it causes already some issues yeah and I'm not 100% sure that they also know what's going to go on there. definitely maybe a simple solution would just be like if you have you go into like the traversability map that it would just highlight pieces that are like not working an issue yeah 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 that confused the system exactly then then at least i know what the fix yeah it's a great yeah. game I, mean, I love it yeah. i love it to bits i've played it for way too many hours <laughs> but, Same. but this is the kind of thing that's really bugs me yeah. sometimes i yeah. i noticed yesterday I mean, I... yesterday on the, on twitter there was a, a a message of the the french youtuber that we met in um in London, Silv, um, Silver, Silv. Oh yeah, um, Bill. Bill, Bill Silverlight or something like Silver. Yeah, something like that. Anyways, I saw a tweet from him passing by, and he was in French. He was like completely tired of the game. Uh, he was, I think, he was building some kind of safari boat ride, and he was trying to put back his water in, and he was like putting five hours in it, and he could not find why he could not put back his water in its water section and that that is such a frustrating thing like you have to uh, pay attention to so many things like if your paths are not too low if your animals are not boxed and maybe there's a little slight terrain that is interfering you know but you you don't know you only got yeah. it's obstructed or whatever kind of message mm -hmm. you got that's the only thing like it will be so nice to just know like what is obstructing this how yeah, yeah it's insane it's my favorite I think message that... of the game, obstructed, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm actually you know, lucky with my, my with my own safari boat ride that 
it was kind of still doable to get back the water in. As long as I boxed all my animals, I didn't really have mm -hmm. any issues with that. But oh man, if you're working hours on something and you have no idea, uh, mm -hmm. it, it can take you hours just to fix your game. And that's so frustrating. I think it's, you know, that's also... <sighs> the, the more we talk about it, it's always obvious that the game allows us to be so creative and then it's just <laughs> frustrating if you can't deliver yeah. what you have achieved. Yeah. I mean, if we look at this habitat, lady, that's it looks amazing. It oh, really gets this you. vibe across. I love the climbing frame. I love what you did with the with the stones and stuff. But, you know, if we now talk about traversable area of this <laughs> shall habitat... I shall I in, tell you? <laughs> The, the tapirs have to... some issues. Let's put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, you know, this is a little bit of a sad thing because that's just like such a beautiful habitat. But it would, in franchise, that would be like a totally bad habitat oh, because yeah. nothing yeah. would work. And uh, it's <laughs> this is, I think, the most frustrating part. You can build such a cool stuff like so close to real life zoos and then mm -hmm. is it really that usable and that's a little bit of a pity and i really hope that frontier is going to learn from that maybe not for this iteration of planet zoo but maybe in the far future for a new one um building on this system because there is a lot of strength in there but i think this is what makes us so frustrated <laughs> if there were was no potential yeah i was thinking about the fact like why are my tapers having so many issues but i honestly do think in this case, that the tapers are, uh, uh, oh wait, no, they're, yeah, well, maybe the, these tapers got the mechanics of the tapers of uh, the beard's tapers, and that they did not adjust the traversable area for the small little aquatic rocks, because those oh. are causing the most issues. I have to remove a lot of the aquatic rocks in order to get them their traversable area back so i think sorry to say so but the aquatic rocks are the biggest problem in this game so far. <laughs> yeah they, they yeah. are amazing and you need to use them because they look absolutely gorgeous and it's everything is great the problem is the hitbox of these things is beyond crazy <laughs> it's, if yeah, you have a it's pool annoying. and it's totally fine yeah, but some like animals can walk divable, over them and some yeah, can't, some can't. and that's why i think that some animals are just not adjusted to these rocks so that some animals just don't know what to do with these rocks while they just have to walk over it. That's what I think. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna go and jump into a uh, koali. Holy cow, it's, it's lagging, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it's actually still okay. I can see it's like 20, 20-ish, 20 22 FPS for you, which is great. Uh, yeah, but as long as I keep it on pause, then that is, yes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to unpause it for now because it's uh, it's getting on 9 FPS. Um, but we're going to start here. Was this sign already here? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, oh, it yeah. was in the, in Mike's last episode. Oh, really? It was made by Ricey, I believe. Oh, Ricey's so good at her signs. She's amazing. Yeah. Um, so I actually just added these uh, giant entities. I did not do uh, anything else in this habitat except for like adding this thing. And when I added this one and this one, I, I realized like, Rudy, where did the tapers actually get fed? Because I did not no, remove it. Fed. They, oh, they, they are don't. The race. Oh, Remember, that's they why. They can self fed them. That's, <laughs> they are. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, okay, but yeah, I just added the giant entities here because I heard that that was the idea of Mike. And if Mike, uh, Mike wants to change anything to the habitat, he's free to do that. I think hopefully. Then, then he'll have to join us again. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> then you have to join. <laughs> um, but yeah, you had this beautiful um, uh, overhanging or whatever tunnel yeah. you, you call it. I love this. I absolutely love yeah, this, so I'm not going to touch yeah. it. Like, it's just great. It's amazing. And uh, this is then the habitat, like, because of the light, I'm just going to do it like so. So we have uh, some enrichment items on the left side. We actually have a lot of enrichment items now that I see it. I don't like so many, but yeah, the animals want it, so I actually should delete them. <laughs> Um, uh, but yeah, so <laughs> Tapir is like, you know, Tapir is like a, a million toys and it's like, nope, I'm going to, I'm going to take a bath instead. Hell yeah. <laughs> exactly. Hell yeah. Oh, why I... are you people watching here? Jeez, from all the way. Like also this area, Rudy did. I love this area. I love this so much. 
This is just, what I, just yeah. brilliant. It's, it's been actually when I built this. Remember, there was nothing built uh, in the Highlands. Like I, oh, I yeah. remember, you we were looking into the void. It yeah, was insane. that's correct. That's correct. And now it's basically finished here, unless someone touches it again. <laughs> oh, there, there's, there's, you, you can't touch this area because there's the one exhibit door somewhere in this area that holds the entire map together. It's what? bugged in all kinds of ways, and I'm not serious? touching it. Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> I was afraid to touch it because I think it's going to crash the I game. If no I have no idea what kind of door it's, you mean. It's somewhere underground, like <gasps> uh, Rudy had that at oh, one really? point, and I'm afraid to touch it. <laughs> I have no yep. idea what which one it is, but I I, I will still, not touch I still, it then. I still have no idea what <laughs> happened there. It was just it was just there, and all of a sudden it's the the, the door to death. <laughs> yep. So we're not touching it. We're leaving it just the way it is. <laughs> oh my god, that's insane. Uh, but, but yeah, this does these... look really good. Thank you. That's really cool. These pillars are meant to be for the hanging. Yeah. So one over here and one that you would maybe see a little bit more over here or from So from cool that if side. that would be hanging above yeah. the tape here. I'm not like, sure you know, if this yeah. is so exactly cool. horizontal, but that could also probably work, maybe. Not sure if the Binturong went in with the ruler to make sure that this is like perfectly flat. Yeah, I don't know what the Binturong wants, if it's like too low or too high or whatever. They probably are very Just look picky. at it. It already looks nasty. It just like <laughs> looks like a nasty animal. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm very happy with how this looks. It's definitely something yeah. I'm going to do uh, more often in the future. Like combining all these logs. I think it's just great. Yeah. The, okay. So the rope would need to. Um, I need to do it. <laughs> it's also <laughs> totally to... not going to confuse yeah, the climbing that. system at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we can we can check. Like it's it's. For the Binturong? I mean, but it's changed, right? It was only glitching around the ground. Maybe... Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, so it out. cannot oh. walk here. Uh, right. But it can go all the way up here. It can go here. Yeah, it's weird. It's looking, this is weird it's that very, it's... It's looking funky. <laughs> yeah, it can go here, but it cannot go here. See, uh, well, maybe because here, it can't reach it, I think. Here it would be super useful if, like, just the pieces that are blocking the path would like light up an orange or something like yeah. that. Yeah. That right. would love yeah. to see the Binturon climbing yeah. on, on that roof. That's like gonna why? Be like, that, that's going to be like a, <laughs> a Michael Jackson dance yeah. if you put that one in there. Yeah, he's going through the roof for sure. <laughs> yeah. And then you have the tapirs and the tapirs have, um, yeah, I had oh to boy. remove... <laughs> Had to remove a lot of the aquatic rocks later on just to get them walking around. See, that, that's what I mean. Look at how much mm. space they take. Yeah, it's, it's like annoying. half a meter off. It's insane. Gosh. It's insane. Oh, yeah. It's really insane. But I'm really happy I... with this habitat. And now we have this yes. completely, uh, you know, yeah, kind of ish finished. Obviously, there's going to be stuff in the background here. <laughs> but everything is close here to my uh, lovely uh, Symmetrian tigers and oh, my i still love this habitat so much yeah I mean. same and um uh, and uh the giant panda habitat um so this here something changed here you've made it bigger or mike did or whatever this is not how i i made it so this i this is bigger the fact that i that i don't remember it anymore it might be doesn't bo both swell for me <laughs> I think it was just closed right over here, so I'm not really sure I, why this was... Um, I, I remember that Mike was talking about putting a, a cheetah habitat up the hill that goes He's towards somewhere your, here, yes, yeah. your yes. tiger. There is a, so... a trail up to the Jaguar Canyon. Yeah. So that should go somewhere over here. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. Um, and you're going to have the cheetah habitat down there, but yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, but not that much change. I remember that Mike did change this already earlier. Uh, yeah. So that was uh, that was earlier before we uh, before we went away This is away when you did the connection to yeah. Uh, but the, this to is the, definitely. Uh, I I can't even remember if this was new or not. But I really love this this area leading up here to this giant panda habitat, and this, this building. This was a lot of work. Ah, <laughs> uh, did you work on this? Uh, partly, partly. I love this. I love this so much. This is just great. And then the viewing in the whole zoo. It's insane. Yeah, this. this is I... absolutely insane. 
We have mesh pens now, right? Yes, we do. Oh, yeah. I just spotted my aviary. Oh. Good luck with ah. that. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that, indeed. That is going to be such I... a thing. Um, but nah. I'm not entirely sure. Like, maybe um, when uh, Eben is going to take over, Eben can show a little bit of the things that have been changed during the past year that we have not been doing anything anymore, <laughs> but you guys did. <laughs> um, yeah, the only thing I, think... I did want to check was this. Yeah, this this, this is, is something we, we did really in uh, cool. Mike's last episode. Um, oh, is it? Is it? Was it already on YouTube? Maybe I missed that episode. Yeah, I remember oh. we went to the buffet and everything. This yeah, is yeah. so yeah. We, we actually had a cool. wonderful buffet, yeah. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah, that was a really cool episode. Absolutely amazing. I'm I'm really proud of this of this thing. Yeah. This took a while, but it's really cool. It's definitely worth it. But the... I'm, I'm also <laughs> super impressed with the work you guys, like the way you managed to actually take that completely useless building and turn it into something that's not just eye candy, but also works really well in the park. It, it was an it was a head, a head scratcher for sure. Like it, it took me a while before, like Mike had a very clear vision of it, but he was like, yeah, yeah, just do it like this. Okay, no, no, no. Not like that. Okay, like this. No, no, no. Like okay, like this. No, no, no. <laughs> and then oh he, I think I actually built with him uh, live on Discord. <laughs> so you he could did? Show me what I had to do. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> That's next level. That's he's really such a, next level. He's such a good friend. <laughs> so, so this is also something that... Uh, yeah, man... Mike has some crazy ideas for that thing. Um, yeah, but, but Mike I is not we... here. So what is the crazy idea then? Uh, <laughs> he, he had like the idea of having a kind of temple way in the back. Um, but I think Rudy has a really cool idea uh, I mean, for there's... his next episode. So that we yeah, can... If you, lady, can you just go to uh, Sylph's chimpanzee habitat and fly over Africa real quick without really looking too much towards it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't, uh, don't look at it. <laughs> wait, wait, Sylph chimpanzee habitat? Is uh, that yeah, this? Yeah, 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 yeah this one, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, this so is this, a, is the yeah. building, this is the building that Mike and I talked about uh, moving upwards, where yeah, you see exactly. the red boxes. I love if that. If you have building. a look right. upwards. Oh, that's and, very high um, yeah, and so what we're going to do is we're basically going to open up the zoo here a little to uh, get rid of this dead end. Um, to, yeah. to, to just make sure that this traverses a little bit better into Africa as well. Um, nice. and, and has a bit of a bit of a better connection. This is what I will be working on next. And um, Africa will actually take a while, so I'm not quite sure if, <laughs> if we will actually finish this this time. But even I will will be actually working together on that. Yeah. Um, because we, we, I mean, you can fly over to Africa real quick. Um, we will talk about this next episode, but people can see that a lot has changed yes, here. Yes, definitely. Um, if you go over to the safari ride entrance, just to give a little bit of an idea for the next episode, there is this big space of backstage area, which is just a blank gray area. Oh yes, this is gonna be f this is gonna be filled next as well with some smaller animals, which you can imagine which ones those would be. Meerkats. Um, <laughs> stuff like that, exactly to make sure that this is somewhat uh, better connected and then we will open this up towards the temple that Sylph built so we have a better connection. Sounds um, really good. Yeah. But yeah, I think I think one thing that we uh, we learned and especially uh, when life gets in the way, uh, I think we should not pin ourselves for an every week. If you are able to get yeah. something done next week, perfectly fine. If you're not, then it will be next week or the week after. There are a lot of yep. stuff that has to happen uh, uh, to finish this zoo. But as I can tell exactly. already, even comes in and we're just doing a Kowali 2.0 where we're going to ha build, build like 10 more habitats or something. I don't know. I have the feeling that we're far from done yet, <laughs> especially when moving things and opening up. And uh, <laughs> Does this a legitimize calling this as Kowali Zoo Season 2? Or... <laughs> I don't know if we can call it Season 2. <laughs> But I have the feeling it's not all about filling up. It's uh, it's definitely still just continuing yeah. filling the zoo. There's still I mean, there's the still there's still room to do some new stuff. But on the other hand, I'm also the kind of guy who really does want to finish up some of the 
areas that are still a little bit empty or mm -hmm. that just need some yeah. borders or stuff like that. So that's some some of the things that I'm going to try to focus on as well. Perfect. Very nice. Um, one thing I just want to add also, I think, you know, people have been asking a lot during this time about Koali and so on and so forth. And I think this break was really needed, but I, yeah. I mm -hmm. guess also that um, this project deserves to be finished in a, in a good way. So we oh, aren't going definitely. to stress, but we are going to, to utilize the two DLCs actually that came in between. Yes. Oh, so yeah. don't forget about Isn't that. Isn't it three? And Aquatic, really? Southeast yeah. Asia, yeah. and Meerkats. Actually, That's correct. Uh, yeah. was there anything in between wow. the Koala, uh, the Australia pack, and Aquatic? Aquatic. Yeah, there was there was still the one episode from from Mike, but I believe that one was even before the Aquatics pack. Yeah, I think Aquatic mm -hmm. uh, before the Aquatic pack we stopped. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, quite a lot of new stuff that we can can work with. Definitely, definitely. So yeah, I would recommend you all to just subscribe to all these guys. I'm actually not really sure how much Silv is going to do. Maybe Silv wants to do something a little bit in like an empty file and then send it over or whatever. Uh, but mm -hmm. just subscribe to everyone and uh, we will just see <laughs> who will come next. Who is going to take over next? Uh, I'm going uh, to uh, yeah. take. I yeah. You I'm going to take over. Yeah, and I'll I'll start working quite together with uh, even already. We Perfect. we already started a chat about it, and then this is gonna be definitely an episode which uh, is gonna hand over directly into into <laughs> even. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Okay, I'm that really sounds looking good. Forward to that. Yes, I'm actually uh, excited for for our return with Koali. So hopefully everyone that is watching as well do let us know, of course, in the comments down below and leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed. Thank you all so much for joining today. Really appreciate it. And I look forward to all your builds in the future. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> me and too, uh, me too. Oh, we hope to see you guys in the next one, of course. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Bye everybody.